नमस्ते प्रणाम एंड मेडिटेशन ऑन द भगवत गीता ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदधा भगवदीते भवत्षिणी ओ भगवदीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यासा इनक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत O bestower of the nectar-like knowledge of non-dualism, O goddess contained in the 18 chapters, O my affectionate mother, the destroyer of rebirth, I meditate upon thee. And now, salutations to our Lord Krishna. वसुदेव सुतम देवम कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकिं परमानंदम कृष्णम वंदे जगत गुरु ओ सन ऑफ वसुदेव द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एंड द एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ श्री कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स my salutations to you <clears throat> and we today we read uh, the 33rd verse of the first chapter of uh, shrimad bhagavad gita arjuna vishada yoga the 33rd shlok which uh, arjun now is addressing to shri krishna he is giving whole lot of uh, reasoning about his condition and the shlok goes like yesha marthe kaankshitam no rajyam bhoga sukha nicha tam ime vasthita yuddhe pranan styaktva dhana nicha now arjuna is uh, you know putting forth all his uh, points of views all his points of view he is putting forth before shri krishna and telling him uh, having seen uh, all the near and dear ones standing in both the armies in the kaurava as well as pandava armies they are all his kinsmen his own people now he says what is fun in waging a war and killing all these people who are my own and thinking about the aftermath of this war which arjuna knows that he is going to be victorious so thinking about the aftermath of this war arjuna is now in a terrible condition he says i don't want those riches i don't want that kingdom i don't want any of those pleasures or even the niceties in the life and now he says yesham arthe for whose sake kaankshitam is desired nah rajyam no nah no is by us rajyam is this kingdom bhogah pleasure enjoyment sukhani ch and the pleasures he says for those who seek we seek this kingdom and we seek to enjoy all the pleasures after winning this war to to is de ime avasthita ime is these avasthita stand yuddhe in the battle pranan styaktva pranan is the life Tyatva, tyatva, having abandoned, having given up, dhanani chhu, and also the wealths, 
So now Arjuna is putting before uh, Shri Krishna this particular logic. He says, those for whose sake we seek kingdom, enjoyments and pleasures after winning this war, that is into brackets. So those for whose sake we are going, we are seeking this kingdom and enjoyments and pleasures in life, they stand here in the battle, taking life and property. Now the same people for whom we are fighting on the Pandava side, here Arjuna is referring to, for whose sake I am going to fight now? For the sake of those people for whom we are going to fight, seeking, thinking that they will enjoy this kingdom, they will enjoy these pleasures, they will enjoy these riches after winning the war. Those same people, they are standing here, lined up to wage the war against each other, even prepared to give up their lives. In fact, it is not wrong on the part of Arjuna. Because Arjuna was also, in fact, a knower. And he knew that when we are going to wage this war, there is going to be severe destruction on both the sides. He knew it very well. He knew it in advance what is going to be the outcome of this war, of this battle. But deluded by that curtain of Maya, now that knowledge he is putting to use on a pretext of avoiding this war. War he must fight. There is no other go and Sri Krishna is going to see that he fights. So, now Arjuna has come to this stage. For those for whom we are going to wage this war and to enjoy the kingdom and wealth, they are all lined up here to even give up their lives. All others in both the camps, they are going to perish, no doubt about it. And therefore, this dilemma before Arjuna, if that is going to happen, then why wish this war? Why fight? We are happy as it is. We don't want any bloodshed. Because if we wish the war, those kinsmen, those near and dear ones of mine, who are supposed to enjoy the riches of the kingdom, the pleasures of the kingdom, they won't be there. And look, look, look at the depth of Arjuna's knowledge. He knew the outcome. But still, he is deluded by Maya at this point of time and he has got into this delusion. So, uh, Arjuna in 33rd shloka has uh, told this to Sri Krishna. And in the next shloka also, in this throughout this chapter, he is going to talk in the same vein. He is going to talk in the same manner. That we will keep on reading one by one as we read those shlok. As of now, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai Shri Krishna Panamastu Jai Shri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji